Hey, Open Carry USMC here. Today I'm going to do a review and a test. I have the Gold Zero Nomad 7 system. It's a folding uh, solar panel. It's got a little bag in the back with some kit. This is the kit that I bought, though. It's going to buy the panel by itself. It's got some cables, 12 volt accessory plug that you can plug into the panel. It's got a Motorola cable to a USB. It's got a charging cable to go from the, the uh, solar panel to the battery pack. It's really simple. It unfolds and you lay it in the sun. On the back side, there's a little control box. You slide this cable into there, and when it's in the sun, you get, 12, you get voltage out. It's got a battery pack that's a charger, has a built in light. You can pull off a uh, Motorola plug or you can pull a, pull a USB charge out of it so you can recharge your cell phones or whatever uses a USB. Baofeng radio perhaps. And then a flashlight and then a plug to charge it with from this little cable. You can also charge it with the USB from your uh, computer. You open it up you'll find that there's a little adapter tray in it for AAA batteries. We're going to do double A's today. We've got Duracell. These aren't the stock ones that come with it. These are Duracell nickel metal hydride 2400 milliamp hour batteries. So we're going to put these in. We're going to see just how long it takes to charge this. And that's about one o'clock here in Southern Oregon. The sun is almost directly overhead. I'm going to plug it in. Put the panel out in the sunlight. I'm going to put the charger in the shade under it so that it doesn't get overheated. Put the rest of these back up. I'm going to time this to see how long those batteries take to charge. And this is the first time from factory that they've been discharged. So we'll see how long it takes. Okay, I'm back. I've done the charging of the batteries with the uh, Goal Zero, the Nomad 7 panel, which folds. Fits nicely in your backpack. You can hang it off your backpack while you're on the move so that you are getting a little bit of charge. It's not as efficient, obviously, as having it set out and aimed at the sun, being stationary. But I recharged four batteries, 2400 milliamp hour, uh, Duracells, they're nickel metal hydride, 1.2 volts. So I'll get into why you have 1.2 volts in a minute. Uh, five hours yesterday and I ran out of sun. So I brought it out this morning and 49 minutes later, it was at a full charge. Uh, it showed that it was at a high charge uh, after the five hours, but it wasn't full. So another 40, 49 minutes this morning, it was a full charge at that point. Took out two batteries, replaced them with the other two dead ones from my six cell battery pack for my radios and that took an hour and a half to recharge two batteries so I'm not sure if it's just better Sun today or I had a better angle on the Sun I'm not, not sure why that was um, probably have to do some more testing probably want to do a side-by-side -side. my girlfriend has the same setup and we'll put the panels we'll lay one flat and keep one aimed at the uh, Sun with the same batteries do a comparison so I'm gonna put the batteries into the pack and it shows a full charge so the UV5R is back up and running um, since this battery pack will run two to four days depending on how much transmission you're doing uh, you could run it dead in a, in a day if you were heavy on it but normally operations in sugar pine mine I was using the 1800 milliamp hour battery and getting two days out of it uh, excellent I would recommend this system for anybody. It's very versatile. You can charge it off any USB port. Uh, you can use a battery if you have the cables to adapt to a 12-volt uh, charger, to a, a plug, because um, you can then put a USB into it and get your USB output. The uh, other thing I want to show you is on this battery pack with the UV5R is that I said I was talking about the 1.2 volts. This is a six battery pack. 
6 times 1.5 volts, if you use standard alkalines, is going to be too much power for the radio. And it has a circuit built into it. If it's overpowered, it will shut down the transmit side to prevent damage. If you, if you have 1.5 volters, you have to have a dummy load, and now you've lost battery capacity. If you use 1.2 volt rechargeables, 6 times 1.2 is 7.2 volts. The radio takes a nominal 7.4 volts. It's not overcharged. You have full capacity with 24 amp hour batteries, 2400 milliamp hour batteries. You have a reliable system that can be recharged in the field and you are autonomous from the grid and still have calm. So we'll do the side-by-side uh, -side comparison in a future video. Hope you enjoyed this one and gives you a little confidence on your gear if you've got this and you haven't actually done a test.